The Word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The first thing you need to know is that being in Christ is the first sign of having a new beginning. A new beginning means the things you have endured in the past have ended, and now you're walking in the reality of the breaking of a new era of light. I believe that you're already experiencing great things which the Lord has begun in your life. If you haven't, receive Jesus in your heart right now, and he will perfect all in this moment. We will be praying for God's intervention, and that we will experience a new beginning in all areas of our lives. Let us pray together. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to come to your throne and obtain mercy, even in times of need. I pray that the Lord will perfect all that concerns everyone under the sound of my voice and the members of your family. The Word of God says in Isaiah 65, 17, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. According to the Word of God, I decree and I pray for you that the Lord would cause a new heaven and a new earth to be revealed to you and your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord has done a new thing in your life and family, and by reason of this, it will be marvelous in your eyes. Jeremiah 29:11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. According to that word, I stand and I pray that all the plans of God for you and your family that have not come to fruition will, from this moment, begin to manifest in all areas of your lives and your family. I pray for you that the devil and his cohorts would not hinder the plans of God for you and your family, and I decree that the Lord would shield and protect the good things that he has begun in your life in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Job 8:7. Your beginnings will seem humble, so prosperous will your future be. This is the word of God, and it fails not. I pray for you that your future will be prosperous. All that seems small today will become big and great in the future by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that those people who had despised you in your little beginning will come back to celebrate you, even now in the name of Jesus. I pray that your little beginning will be a testament to the Lord's faithfulness in your life and I pray for you that the Lord will begin to do marvelous things that are beyond your comprehension. I decree that the opportunities that you lost in the past are restored sevenfold. From today, you'll begin to walk in the newness of God's life that is at work in you in the name of Jesus. I release supernatural increase into your life and your families in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Therefore, I pray for you that the Lord will make all things beautiful in your life and in your family's life in the name of Jesus. I stand on the word of God and pray for you that the ordained future that God has kept in store for you will become tangible in your heart and manifest in your lifetime in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that your heart and mind will be attuned to the good things the Lord is about to do in your family. I pray for you that the good things that have been withheld from your grasp will be released to you, whether the devil likes it or not, since the word of God says in Romans 8.31, If God is for us, who can be against us? I pray that those people who were against you, even in the past, will begin to work subtly in your favor. They will become agents of God that will be used as catalysts to speed up your destiny in the name of Jesus. I pray that no one will work against you from today and your favor and progress will not be truncated from today. Goodness and mercy are following you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. I pray today that you would not be anxious about anything that God has already taken care of. I pray that you will learn to put your trust and faith in God. And as you do this, I pray for you that God will keep your heart in perfect peace and will cause a heavy downpour of his resources to you and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would not lack anything good. All that the Lord has kept for your progress and prosperity will be released to you even in due course in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.